Hello and welcome here. The Joker 2 Folie Durer sets up the best chance for the Willem Dafoe as Joker fan casting to happen. Despite the success of the first picture in terms of box office and accolades, director Todd Phillips and star Joaquin Phoenix never ruled out making a sequel to what seemed like a pretty self-contained movie. However, Joker 2 has been confirmed after years of conjecture, and both Phillips and Phoenix will reprise their roles in what might be an entirely different film from the original. With Phoenix's return to the role of Arthur Fleck the Joker, DC now has at least two actors portraying the Joker in continuing film series, the other being Barry Cogan in The Batman. There's also the DCEU Joker, played by Jared Leto, whose future in the series is up in the air following his debut in Zack Snyder's version of Justice League. Audiences are getting to witness a variety of diverse, unique views on the Joker thanks to all of those performers, and there might be another addition to that list. Willem Dafoe, who has been fan-cast as the Batman villain for years, said he would be interested in handling the character, but with a new twist, when questioned about the decade-old fans' demand to see him portray the Joker. Instead of portraying the clown prince of crime, Defoe wants to play a Joker imposter who opposes Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, either mimicking or ripping off Arthur Fleck's work. Not only is Defoe's offer an intriguing, out-of-the-box concept, but it would also fit within the theme that Joker 2 appears to be about. The working title, Folie d'Ur, was picked by Phillips and co-writer Scott Silver and translates from French to English as Madness of Two, implying that Joker 2 will have two Jokers or at the very least a second character continuing Arthur's path. This may be a Joker enthusiast, a follower, or perhaps Harley Quinn, but it could possibly be the Joker imposter mentioned by Willem Dafoe. Given Willem Dafoe's portrayal of the Green Goblin in Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home, as well as his many previous villain roles, it would be fascinating to see what he would do with the Joker persona. However, as Dafoe himself pointed out, merely portraying another Joker would be an unimaginative notion, which is why his unique pitch works so effectively. At this time, it's hard to say whether Phillips already has an actor in mind for Joker 2 Folie d'Ur, assuming it lives up to its working title and introduces a second Joker. However, if Joker 2 takes this path, it would be a shame not to at least talk to Defoe about the film, given the actor's ability and enthusiasm for the role. Defoe as the second Joker in Folie d'Ur would work not just because it fulfills a long-held fan wish, but also because it fits perfectly with Defoe's pitch and what the sequel requires. Joker's popularity was due to the fact that it defied genre expectations and achieved something unique with the character, which would be difficult to reproduce in a sequel. Willem Dafoe, in that case, may be the fresh ingredient that elevates Joker 2 to new heights. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.